two minute tutor here. We're looking at today, how does a burner work? Well, everybody knows that a furnace has to have a burner in it, right? In order for it to produce the heat that's required to warm up a house so that you feel warm during the winter time. Well, how does that burner work? Well, first of all, in order for combustion to take place, you have to have three things. You have to have an ignition temperature, you have to have fuel, and you have to have oxygen, usually in the form of air coming into the furnace. When those three things are brought together, we can have combustion. Now, the burner is the spot where that all happens. This is where all these items converge together and then combustion takes place. But how exactly does it happen? Well, we have the burner, we have a wide mouth at the entrance into the burner, and at that mouth we have our primary air and we have our gas being introduced through a metered orifice. The air and the gas travel through the venturi throat and into the mixing chamber. Here, the gas and the air are going to be mixed together thoroughly, and then they're distributed evenly through the ports of the burner. An ignition source lights off the gas, and then the gas burns. Now, there's going to be a defined, a well-defined inner blue cone, usually a light blue color, which can be readily seen, and then there will be a outer cone that's writing above it. The inner blue cone is the gas that is burning with the pre-mixed primary air. Now, not all of the gas burns because there's not enough primary air to sustain complete combustion. So, secondary air has to be introduced at the point of combustion, and this finishes off the combustion process. So, every burner, as it operates inside of a furnace, is going to have the fuel being introduced into it, the primary air being mixed with it, and then, after the combustion has started, secondary air has to be introduced at the point of combustion to allow for the complete and total burning of the gases. This is to ensure that we don't get any CO or carbon monoxide. The inner cone should be a light blue, as I mentioned before, and the outer cone burning with the secondary air is usually going to be a darker blue. Remember, no yellow. Yellow means CO, yellow means soot. Soot is the enemy to any furnace. How is the primary air drawn in? Primary air is drawn in via the Venturi effect. In other words, as the gas goes through this narrowing of the burner, the gas will pick up speed. As it picks up velocity or picks up speed, it causes a low pressure area to form just behind it. This drop in pressure allows for a suction, if you will, to bring in primary air into and mix with the gas so that we get our primary air or we get our first shot of air for the combustion process. But as I said before, the primary air is not enough for complete and total combustion and we see the gases burning with the primary air in that inner cone. We have to finish off the process, we have unburned gas, and that's when, once again, we introduce secondary air into the system. All burners are going to work like this. Hope this helps you out. This is how a burner works. Two Minute Tutor, out. Oh.